just have a quick quick peek around. Oh, haven't quite fixed everything. Huh. Nope, can't open that. Well, I assume that I can go in here. Emergency shutdown? Okay, you know what, I'll just finish the game today, and I'll split it up. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Oh, well, looks like I'm going here. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. <laughs> All defective. Oh, you were busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. Hey. I hate you so much. <laughs> Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer. Uh, where? Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, there we I've go. I've got an idea. Do what it says. Plug me in. Do not. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out. Pull Unless me out. a stalemate associate pull is present to press the stalemate resolution out. button. Pull me out. Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave me in. Don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, oh, do do it. Don't button. press that button. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to it, alright? It is true. Uh-oh. You've got something. <laughs> Just press the button. A finger. Alright, you should press that button so that she won't kill us. Ah. Uh. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I oh, there's that things finish. everywhere. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I am making. Because uh. you're still doing things right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. And okay. uh, that's probably that. correct, but where it's incorrect is that while I've been stalling uh. you, we just press the button. Use the moment of confusion I've just read to press the button. <laughs> moment of confusion. Okay, uh... Let me just... I don't know if I've ever taken the time to do this. I press the button. I told you the qualities that I love most in you. In order, number one, <laughs> resolving things. I love the way you resolve things. Uh... Disputes. And number one, also tied... Trying to think. Button pushing. Two things I love about you. Button pushing and the ability to resolve things. Oh, I understand this now. Okay. First thing I thought about you when I saw you... I it can't do it that fast. I didn't see clue in at all. What if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we talking? Ah! No. Stop. No. 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 Ah. Uh, I don't know if I should feel bad. Everything. 
Wow, this is cool. Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, you forget. This body is amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, I thank you. Do you have any idea how good this feels? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Sierra, all you've done is boss me around. Well, no, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying. Yes. You're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You were designed to be a moron. I am not a moron. Uh. Yes, you are. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron us you into this? Ah! Could a moron do that? Uh oh. Thank you, Glada. <laughs> so apparently it's the evil making machine. Oh, so it wasn't quite as over as I thought it was. Oh, whatever, I'll just do another day's worth of segments now. Oh, hi. Uh. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. <laughs> What's your fault? Good, that's still working. <laughs> hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. <laughs> uh, you're just a potato. Uh-oh. Very, very deep tunnels. That required its own loading screen, really. Well, I guess we did go down really far, but still. <laughs> that's really got to change. That's, that's, uh, that's my opinion on it. Oh, there goes the potato. Oh, still have the portal gun. Well, that ain't good. Don't even know where we are right now. Very deep underground. That's. I guess that's enough. Uh. What's so going over there? Stupid Wheatley. You were like, he's the best character ever. I knew, I knew there was something suspicious. Well, not really, but. I, I'm still blaming everybody else. Okay. 
lot of water. The only thing I'm kind of uh, iffed about right now is it seems kind of uh, odd. Uh, like, there's a lot of black walls and just like one white wall, so right now it's just like find the white wall kind of a game. Is, is this the big chamber? Wow, how deep does it go? Damn. Well, we'll just keep hitting through. Keep out. Wait, is this where... Condemned testing area. Oh, I have to do that. Oh well, you know. Can't keep me out. Oh, or you can, because I can't tell what's a white wall. Or maybe, oh, here we go. That's one. Oh, wait, I can zoom, that's right. It's not really helping much. Huh. Where do we go? Or maybe we go here. No, that's not a place. I want to go into the condemned test area. Huh. Maybe there's somewhere else I'm supposed to go. Probably not. It looks really cool though. Huh. Well, I'm having trouble figuring this out. Is there something around here I'm missing? I clearly am. Alright, I'll, I'll check into this whole mess. Well, the solution to the puzzle was right up there. Uh, did not figure that out. Uh, that took me a second. Because I'm... There's a lot of white here because of the lights and stuff, and uh, I just could not figure that out. For the life of me. Yeah, and then that, that's it. There you go. Which is why I find the white wall is not really a fun game, and they really want me to uh, keep out. I like the, I like the puzzles, not really the you know find stuff. Uh, all right, well let's just hop down. What is so important that we must find here? Only time will tell. No idea. It makes me very interested though. Very suspenseful. Well, the lover. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just one, one giant loading screen this time. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna be... Okay, let's go over here. And uh, make sure we can do both. There you go. Why would I want to open this hatch? I don't know. You know, I think I changed my mind. This is a really bad idea. The giant vault. It's condemned testing, so... Well... This does not seem, uh... Oh, it's a giant white wall. Okay, I, it's all good now. Test shaft nine. Huh. Oh, and it's just a... Uh, a door. Sure, let's hop in. It has its own loading screen as well. Stupid Wheatley. If any of you liked him, you're all, you're all dorks, because... He betrayed us. In danger. Uh, no kidding. It really, it's like not a lot of walls to do portals on. In the, the game is called Portal. Uh, thank you. But you know, they've made a lot of feats in the engine. Like, this kind of this far escape kind of stuff. Uh, Half-Life 2 didn't have much of this, so this has really been improved upon. 
there a portal thingy there? No. Oh, there is stuff up there. I really don't want to walk up all the way there, so... We're gonna hope that there's a... a magical way to, to get over there, somehow. And I do not think I'm supposed to be here, because the light stopped. So more than probably there is a place to play, place the portal, and I just do not know where. What is that thing? Anyways, it's like a giant tetrahedron or something. Maybe it's like uh, Glados too. Super Glados, and they'll fight to the death. All right. To science. I love that. Oh, giant giant tunnels. Please excuse the inconvenience. Uh, elevator is out of commission. Well, let's play find the white wall again. It's the main lift to the surface. Oh, to the surface. Interesting. Uh, well, there is this. Huh. Okay, well, let me get off here for a minute. So we can go like here. But the real question is where do I want to go? And the question, well the answer is probably over there. Uh, if there is a way to get over there. Huh. Because the flinging is always, oh wait, right there. Never mind. It's I, I screwed up at the Find the White Wall game again. Oh, wondrous. Uh, okay, so obviously... I think it's that. Oh, I messed that up. Ouch. It's actually the other one, because that one goes all the way there, so... Oh, thank you. Alright, uh, Find the White Wall game. Best game in the universe. Here we go. Enter. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enriched hemispheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, <laughs> just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. <laughs> and you'll know when the test starts. <laughs> mantis men. That's great. I, l I like the quirky sense of humor, though. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't. At least I don't have to take all these stairs up. But what if I wanted to? Well, we've got a portal there. It's probably the next edition of Find the White Wall. There you go. Wow, yeah, that's right there. Okay. And there we go. We won, somehow. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Uh huh. Uh. Well, there's nothing really here. Kind of curious now. Oh, there's that. Time to figure this out again. Uh, 
Okay, I think I figured it out. One portal there, then you fall. Like that. Then you go all the way here. I know this is a fair bit of auto-aim, like uh, that you cannot miss basically. Uh, but you, it is lit, lit up slightly more, but it's just there's such a big room, uh, I have trouble finding it. Which is like, not really a puzzle in the slightest. It's kind of like, where's Waldo instead? Don't know, how, I don't know how to feel. I like the lasers and stuff. Not really, uh, uh, very interesting back room, though. All right. Uh, oh, there is a door that will not open. Something alpha. Probably up there. It always is that lit up part. Oh, the gel. So there's the mechanics. I was, I was wondering. I'm like, oh, good part of the game for this thing. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Aperture science innovators. So it was like Aperture science in the in the old days. Ow. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Look how big the portal gun is there. The Aperture Science portal, portable quantum tunneling device. You have not received one. Please uh, ask a test associate. So this is uh, old school, I guess, stuff. This one. We. That's cool. And we just solve it just by going somewhere like here. Even the buttons are different. Okay. Oh. Uh, where is the cube? Or. Not sure what they'll call it here. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. Oh, I'm guessing there's a new switch of some sort. Look at round for it though. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. We everything is different. Yeah, it's not repulsion at all. So, the force you come down on it uh, also applies for the force you, uh, whatever on it, I don't know. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> Make more pre-recorded messages. Alright. Let's go do that. <laughs> that would be a great job, just make pre-recorded messages. Uh. Oh, nothing here but typewriters. So I guess this is, I don't know, 20 years before the other Aperture Science? So why is this condemned? It's such an awesome place. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we got one white wall here. Oh, no. Ooh, okay, I missed it. Well, I get that puzzle now. There we go. And now we get the... What's this? On the top. The Aperture Science, uh... Slightly smaller cube. I don't know what it is. That's cool. Just have it bounce around. We... Alright, we need to get up there somehow. Control to prevent bouncing? Really? 
but bouncing is so cool. No, stop telling me to control my bouncing. You're gonna have to boss me. Alright. Whoops, that's number one. Ah, uh, and that would be something we're trying to do. And here we go. And they have the whole cube thing as well. Wow. Let's go here. I don't even need to press anything. I just need to hold forward. Which is, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I think I'm in a bit of trouble because I cannot uh, jump up a lot now. I don't know why there was a hole in the, the thing, but okay. Alright, and there's number two. Yeah, let's go over here. Whee! <laughs> oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> Oh man. That stuff's great. Does not like the human skeleton at all. I miss GLaDOS. <laughs> all of a sudden. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> Alright. Do not lean on the railing. Oh, well, that doesn't really do anything. I was hoping just to like go right into it and do something. It'd be very sad. Look, okay, another game of find out where the white platform white platform is. Everyone's favorite game. Oh, right there. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Uh, okay, so we have something we want to do. Wow. That's just cool. I want to see what happens when I get hit by it. Oh. It does not like my human skeleton. Something like that. Alright, uh, let's uh, cover some of the walls in it. I don't know. Oh, uh, actually, I should kind of go there. Yeah, I really do need to actually kill this up. Oh, here it comes. There we go. Ugh. And this has a lot of this. Huh. I actually probably want to go over here first. There we go. And go. There we go. Oh, no more portals. Alright, well, not like that even matters. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Really? Is that what we're doing? And instead of cameras, we have loudspeakers. Uh. Should I just go like this? There we go. That's fun. Coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> Why mention it? Oh, aperture science. You're so crazy. Okay. 
Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Alright. What, what does this exactly do? Uh, well, can't do it on that kind of a... Huh. Oh wait, I can press that. It's barely touched that. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so it's it's a very timed kind of element. Oh, I see. Okay, makes sense to me now. Go. I'm busy science. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this <laughs> next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what we're up to here. I uh, kind of don't want that to spray me in the face. Uh, I'm thinking... Okay, I think I understand this. You want to do this. Then do that. And then go down. What? I don't... Didn't quite understand what I... Oh, I think it was... I think it was uh, a little bit of the spray from before. It's all good. Alright. Is it is it now time for our favorite game again? Oh, well, there's one white wall. Oh, here we go. Oh well, it looks like I was supposed to do something with the gel. So uh, let's get back there somehow. That would be how you get back. And it's right down there. Oh, that's kind of cool. See, it just goes right through. Alright, um... So I guess what we want to do? And we probably want to put it on that one, too. It's going to go bounce up. Well, maybe not, actually. Let's go. I uh, guess not. The thing I've noticed, though, is a lot of the puzzles don't require me to really do anything at all. Um, you know, I'm just... I'm just here for the ride kind of thing. Uh, what am I doing here? Is my question. Okay, I didn't notice the stairs last time. Oh, wow. If you're hearing Look up. This, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Ah. Uh. uh, so I'm guessing that we want that to go up somehow. What exactly happened to do this? Uh, nothing really. Oh, cool. <laughs> False gel. And that's what happens. Oh, and I see. You're supposed to clean it off. And that's what this is for. It happens very quickly. Let's go put it over here. Alright. Up we go. And have to get rid of that somehow, so I'll probably just do this. Or nope, down like that. Not quite. There we go. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? <laughs> now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, 
Box, your stop. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. <laughs> That's great. Okay, uh, I've been playing for like an hour, so I have some things that I need to get done, so uh, right when we load, I'm going to see what he says and then uh, call it a day. Peace. Congratulations! Okay. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> she is a gem. Okay, um, well, I'm going to have to call it up. Uh, I guess we might as well just go right over here. Kind of just get a sneak peek of what's happening next. Okay, this is a sneak peek of what's happening next. Pump station beta. So, see you guys later. Bye.